Okay, welcome back to our next segment of uh, building the Cadet LT-40 from SIG. And uh, we left off, uh, last time we left off, the um, horizontal stabilizer was um, glued on. Um, looked like it glued on very well. Um, off camera, I kept an eye on the hole here to see if any more of the epoxy would ooze in and sure enough uh, after about five or ten more minutes some more epoxy oozed in so I kept an eye on that cleaned it out with uh, some um, cotton swabs and, and alcohol and so it uh, uh, looks very good uh, test fitting the um, vertical stabilizer uh, because there's nothing in the bottom of that hole to block you it goes in very well but that's not the next thing I want to do. Um, that'll probably come after this one. Uh, while we uh, still have just an airplane here with not much in it, uh, or nothing in it, uh, is a good time to inspect the internal uh, of the airplane to see if all the glue joints um, are in good shape. And if not, we'll add some uh, some CA, uh, either thin or thick to, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, thin or medium, probably not thick, uh, to uh, make sure that all of the ribs or formers, as they sometimes are called, uh, there's a series of uh, about eight or ten formers that go the full length of the uh, fuselage, uh, all have a sufficient amount of glue on them. From the factory, it's um, some airplanes and builders are notorious for not putting enough glue SIG has done a very good job uh, on my first look. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off the um, hatch in the front. Remember it's um, um, magnetically uh, attached. Best way to do it, get it off is right here at the top and uh, these two prongs here uh, hold down the front. <clears throat> so you want to do an inspection. One of the first things to remember here is this is where the fuel tank goes. This came with the fuel tank and it's going to go um, this way in there like that and uh, get glued in after the tank is on. So if you're gluing in here, make sure you don't glue the, over the holes where this uh, former is going to hold the tank down. <clears throat> Looking at the firewall and how it's glued in, it's done very well. See no gaps in the glue. Uh, very nicely done. The tray in the bottom where the fuel tank is, will sit is uh, glued on very nicely. The back tray where it touches the former, I don't see any glue. I'll probably touch some, uh, some, th some thin CA there. Where the magnetics are attached looks very good. Um, this former here at the bottom uh, doesn't have much glue. I'll probably touch some thin CA there. Um, the uh, top here looks glued very well although that one could probably use a touch of uh, thin CA there. On this, on this former here, just uh, in front of where the bolts are for the wing, uh, there's a gap between the former and the side. So it's a small enough gap that the gap filling medium um, will uh, handle that, so I'm probably going to touch some medium CA there. And toward the bottom of the former here and this former, um, no, that former is okay. This former here and this former, this former here and this former here at the bottom uh, could use a touch of uh, probably thin CA. <clears throat> I use thin CA where the two things are touching but I don't see any glue around it. And I'll use a medium CA for a small gap. Uh, you can, if there's a large gap, it, you shouldn't find one, but especially in a quality airplane like this one. Uh, but this one will take some, a bit of medium CA. And that's about it. So uh, let's get started. <clears throat> I think I'll do the thin CA first. It'll dry the fastest. So I've got the, the same, I think it's the same one I used yesterday. It's the Mercury Adhesive um, Thin CA. And I have my Thin CA um, uh, applicator tip. Tip on, okay. 
So um, I'm just going to run a bead of thin CA across the bottom of this former. This is going to be hard to show you, but uh, trust me, it's uh, uh, sometimes a very necessary thing to do. You might want to keep your nose out of the inside of the cock of the cockpit here because the CA does stink. <coughs> uh, so that's a good place for thin CA. I'll put a bit of medium there, medium there. Uh, a little bit of thin right here where the servo tray is. Okay. Size look fine. That former looks fine. I'm going to put some at the back of the tray here where it meets this former. Okay. And right there. <clears throat> and that one looks pretty good. And so. Um, I think that's about it for the thin CA. I'll clean that up with the debinder in a few minutes. <clears throat> um, one thing I do is squeeze the side to get the uh, CA out of the tube here and back into the bottle for thin CA. And uh, that won't sit up too long uh, for me to uh, uh, do the medium here. Okay, so. There's about three places that I, three or four places here that I see that need some medium CA. And what I'm going to do is just touch the CA there. Let it ooze in for a minute. And uh, hold it in that direction so it sort of sinks in. And uh, I'm holding the airplane down. I'm going to touch some on this former. And touch some on this former. Okay. And then um, hold the airplane sort of vertical long enough for that CA to, to take effect and wick in. And that's uh, almost done. And I think I'll do one more touch right here. You can see where I am. Oh yeah, one on the uh, where the wing bolts are against the side of the airplane. That's all you need. So that one, that one, that one, this one. And that's about it for the medium CA. So let's look at it. That CA has been there a few seconds. This one's dripping down a little bit, but that won't cause a problem. Um, so I think we're about done there. I'm going to take a, a rag and get, get a little drip off on this one. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. This one here is getting toward the uh, hole where the, uh, where the nut is, so we don't want that. So I'm going to mop that up a little. All right. So I'm going to let that dry, put the cap back on. <clears throat> um, I always like to wipe off the top of the tip for the medium CA. And then, uh, <clears throat> then I'm going to go get the, uh, uh, the bonder to, to clean out this tube. So um, uh, surprisingly, that's not a lot. I have done airplanes and seen airplanes that uh, take a lot more CA. This one looks in pretty good shape. So um, that's it for fixing the CA. And um, uh, after that dries for a few minutes, I'll uh, be putting on the vertical stabilizer. Thank you very much. Okay, I wanted to show you the inside of the cabin where I was touching up the CA glue and I want to show you a couple things about uh, what that looked like. Uh, first off, 
if you see this little gap right here, that gap was a little bigger than usual, so I used medium CA on, CA on that. Um, the wing mounts here, this wing mount is going to get a lot of stress taking the wing on and off, so I made sure all these were CA'd uh, in better condition. The formers, uh, typically I ran thin CA down each one of those, touched the uh, bottom down here, and ran down the formers there, ran down the formers, touched the bottom, and typically that's all you really have to do. Looking for any gaps, if you see a gap here, uh, and it's sort of touching but not quite, the thin CA will work. This gap I think uh, was was needed a bit more so I used medium on that one and uh, let's see that gap there um, was just thin CA and uh, so combination of thin CA most of the time thick when you have a little bit larger gap the larger gap probably means um, about the thickness of this ruler uh, definitely use medium, even a little bit thinner, uh, but if you can't, uh, um, sometimes if it's, you know, really thick, and you know, this ruler is actually fairly, fairly thick, you might need thick CA for that, uh, but a small gap that you can see through, use uh, thin, I mean use medium, and if it, if the two surfaces are touching, but it doesn't appear to be a lot of glue there, I use Sin CA to smarten them up. You can see where I've run CA up and down there. Thank you.